Hi everyone, welcome to Ketu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can design a feature image for your blog post or design a thumbnail for your YouTube channel. So here I have created a thumbnail like this for my YouTube video and you can also use this feature image in blog post as well. So let's check how you can create a thumbnail like this inside Canva. So here you will get a lot of templates in Canva. So here as you can see that if you click on add new page here and you can add different templates like this so as you can see that this text is looking quite good and you can also copy the color scheme from this templates or let's click on here and as you can see that the text is here it is the decalo type black okay now let's click on here and as you can see that here you will get a lot of templates to start or if you can start from scratch so here we are going to start from scratch so what I can do is I will click on create a design and I will select this option custom size now I will type like 1920 into 1080 pixel and let's click on create a new design and here you can name this project so let's add like thumbnail design like this now let's add a background color here so I will click on here and I can choose a background color from here like this and you can see that you can use gradient color or you can use black color as well so let me just grab the black color from here so I will click on here let me just unlock this and I will grab this black color and I will click on here and I will paste that hex code and let me just add the black color so this is my brand color so I use this black color most frequently in most of my projects so you can grab your brand color in the background now let's add the text so to add the text you can use any of the text so for this I will go to the text here and here let's grab a heading here like this now the heading is added so you can place the position like this so if you want to add it to the center then you can add it like this or you can add it to the center like this and here you can change the typography so here you can use different font style like this add a heading so let's add the heading like how to design thumbnail let's hit enter now we'll add like using canva so this is the topic so let's add it like this now here you can choose any of the font so let me just choose the unisense font here and i will select it as bold and i will set it as italics now i will click on here and i will change it to uppercase and as you can see that now it is looking quite good now i can rearrange the position and i will click on here and i can reduce the line spacing here like this and as you can see that now it is looking quite good and here you can reduce the font size so let's keep it around 80 like this and let's add some thumbnails here so to add it let me just grab some templates from here so what I can do is I will download this thumbnail so let me just download it here okay now the thumbnail is downloaded now I will select all the images and I will upload it back to Canva okay now it's uploaded let me just drag drag the images like this and I will assign the position like this now I will click on here and I will also assign it here and you can see that it is aligning from the top now let's align from the bottom now let's click on here let's resize it and let's align it properly like this and let me just add it here let me just align it like this now I will select all the four here and let me just resize it and I will keep it center like this and as you can see that our thumbnail is ready so you can add different aesthetics to your thumbnails to look it more professional so here in this I can grab some of the elements like this 
so let me just grab this element here and I will paste it here and let's grab it here as well and let's paste it here and as you can see that you can adjust the position a little bit okay now it is looking quite good now let's recreate this thumbnail from scratch so for this what i can do is i will create a new canvas here so i will click on plus here now here i have added a text here animated typing text effect so let's click on t here to add the text so by default it is taking the same settings so here let me just delete it and let me just add a heading first like this and you can see that it is the just plain heading so if you want to use different font style so you can grab that so let's copy it and i will paste it here and as you can see that it has grabbed the stylings here it is the banger or you can use different font from here so let's add this font family so i will click on copy here and i will paste it here like this i will delete it and i can reduce the font size to 144 i can reposition the size and here let's click on here animated typing text effect so let's add here animated text effect like this now let's add a underscore like this now you can adjust the line height line spacing here so let's reduce the line spacing here and you can also make it italics but in this font the italics is not available so let's use the same font unisans and let's increase it and let's use the italics one like this now let's check now you need to add a wordpress icon here so you can simply search for wordpress png and you can download a wordpress png to canva so i have already uploaded that logo so let me just grab it here so you can easily manage your frequently used images in folders in canva so let's increase the size of this logo like this now let's add a border like this so for this what i can do is i will go to elements and i will grab a square shape like this and i can reposition it like this so let's increase the size a little bit all right now i will click on here and I will remove the color here and I will click on border style and let's add a border width of 7 so I will click on here and I will add a white border here now you can also play around the opacity like this and as you can see that a white border is now added now you can also reposition the placement of this border now let's add a background effect to this images so for this i will add a abstract image so i have already uploaded it to my folder so let's go to project here let's go to abstract and here i have added the abstract image like this so this is the png image so i can resize it like this and i will right click on here and i will click on the layer and i will click on send to back now now we click on here again so i will hold shift and click on the section and i can reduce the opacity like this and as you can see that our background is added like this so if you want to select the layer you can just hold control and you can select background layer like this or if you want to select front layer you can do that or you can slide it down and you can select this layer but i recommend you to use control to select the backward layers or the below layers okay now we can add a effect like this key to blogging so let's do that so i can search for an element like search and i can click on see all here and let me just choose an element from here like this 
and I can reposition it and I can place it here and I can zoom it like this let's add a text here let's reduce the size to 36 or let's it for the 16 and I can place it here let's change the color to black and let's add key to blogging like this and let me just reduce this size like this so we have added it so we can also resize the change the position so let's click on the background layer here and I will click on here and I will click on lock position now let's click on the border and I will click on here and I will set lock position so that it will not move from its position now I can simply select both elements and I will click on group and I can change the position as well like this. Now you can select this option, right click on here and click on lock and click on lock position. So that the position will not change but you can change the text here like this. And you can also do the same here. So let's click on border here and let's select it here and let's go to layer and let's go to send to back so that the border will be in the back and you can select this element wordpress logo and you can select the text so basically you can use the background layers and the border layers in the backward section and you can set the text and the logo in the front end section so you can easily edit your thumbnails in canva very easily as you can see that we have created the thumbnails and it is looking quite good and if you want to increase the size you can unlock it and you can grab it here and you can increase the size a little bit and you can place it to the center line like this and you can also place the logo like this so as you can see that we have created two thumbnails in canva very easily and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next video bye bye